Michelle and Kathleen. I We're just it. doing a little Fantasy Island. Wasn't that Fantasy yeah. Island? Places, Places everybody. everybody. Places. Oh, maybe. Yeah. So anyway, it is Smart Week here oh, yes. at Piccolo Mondo Toys at all three stores. And what does that mean? Well, it means that we are featuring We're one very of smart. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Kathleen and I, we really, we had to practice. We did. <laughs> so and we, we look could, very smart. Oh, this evening. You're so sweet. I so know. are you. Oh, I thank you. Uh, anyway, we are, this is one of our favorite brands, Smart Toys and Games. It is. You guys might recognize them. They are one of the leading companies that does single player, but they also have family games. Mm -hmm. And I learned a few things. Um, hello. Hi, Michelle. Hello, Kat. There's Michelle. And then, uh, so what we're going to do, we're actually going to be playing quite a few of these. We're not Maybe not the whole game, um, but we're going to open the boxes and show you some of their new games now you may be familiar with and yay Bye. and then of course we're doing the usual where Here you get to um comment uh give us a, a shout out let us know that you're watching us tonight and then you're going to be entered to win pro uh, not product but we thought about product but we know that you have multiple different ages so we're going to still do our 25 dollars gift certificates and then you can come in and choose a smart product or you don't have to but let me tell you they have some of our favorite favorite games and everything so hey jessica hi ashley welcome welcome so um we're not going to do some of their bestsellers. I just wanted to remind you of some of uh, Smart Toys and Games bestsellers. So Three Little Piggies is one of their very bestsellers. And then um, Color Code. Color Code is one of oh. Aiden's favorites when he was little. Oh, Kathleen favorite. was our rep back then. So okay. kind of crazy that it's coming around again. And that was a sleeper. Yes. Okay. Well, it, it is really cool. This to me, I don't know if any parents out there, this is my secret weapon when I needed to have my kids like be becoming more smart while I made dinner. Like, or, you know, yeah. I needed to do something and I could give Aiden this game. So this game is getting a new update and it's going to be called Dress Code. So it's getting dressed up. So we're going to be showing you that as well. So, hey, Cheryl, nice to see you on here tonight as well. Um, Kathleen is writing your names down and I'm going to just get rid of these two games. Sorry, not get rid of them. Just put them away. And then we're going to start off. So the tricky thing is that a lot of tonight, Kathleen and I are going to be uh, showing you how to play the, and so we're going to move the camera. So hopefully this is going to work as well as we're hoping and you don't see all of the messy stuff. Um, but we are going to start off and show you this adorable Safari Park Junior game. So some of their games like this one starts at ages three plus, of course, Smart Max. And I'm going to, I have a few items that I'll show you um, later in the show. Those are good and they start at really age one plus for some magnetic toys. But the smart toys and games that we have, we have the three plus, and this one is a brand new one. It can be a solo game. And at this age, they could just play with the little figures and it could be kind of a shape sorter. Um, but as you go, you've we've got 60 different challenges that you, we're gonna explore. And as the child grows, it grows in difficulty. And so when you have those progressive challenges, that is going to help children develop uh, problem solving skills, but also it helps them with their resilience. So we're going to be talking a lot more about resilience with children and how we as parents can help them. Um, but uh, progressive challenges is definitely one because, you know, we want them to like, oh, it gets a little bit harder each time and then they can overcome those challenges so anyway here with this three plus we're going to open the part the pieces and we're going to switch it around mm -hmm. don't you think is it yeah. okay are we doing this one now yeah okay. i mean we're doing it we're doing it <laughs> kathleen right. so i think part. if you move that box yep and then here we go like i said it's going to be okay. tricky Hi. for a second okay and don't get we'll, seasick okay, on us and then we're going to move this okay. we're trying on a new device all right and, and we're going to put and this down whoops do okay. i have safari park nope, no i do Okay, ah, you're going to hand okay. that in. So can you turn this part down? I can. Okay. Hold on, everybody. Hopefully. Our square marks the spot. Yeah, and Here we're going to we go. move it out a little more. Okay. And hopefully. Do you want me to see what the view looks like? Yes, please. Yeah. Okay. okay. So you got that. And then we'll stay here okay, for a little I see bit. The, I see the square. Okay. Okay. And I think I'm just going to put these down under okay. here. 
Okay. All right, guys. All right. So this Here is the go. game that we are. Does it look good? Oh, good over uh, there. Uh, almost. No? I, I'm not quite live time. There's a little. Oh, okay. So, go into the so we're middle. going to. There we go. Well, that's perfection. Is we'll it good? That. Yes. We're trying. We're trying new yeah. things, guys. That's perfect. Okay. Hopefully the sound is okay. So when you get your little pieces, they come out like this, and it's like a shape sorter. And so you've got different ones. And so, for instance, the lion, if I was bringing him out, okay. he's going to be right here. And they will come out of the... Mm -hmm. Maybe he doesn't come out there. Actually, he doesn't. Oh, so the that's giraffe. That, that's why it's such a great one, right? Look at this. We one. We're already I'm starting gonna this. Oh, here we go. While you're here looking, go. I'm going to show a little side view so they can see the three-dimensional. Yes. Right. So you can see how cool that is, guys. There so at the very basic age you could just use it as a shape sorter and you could like put your pieces in okay like that um but as we get going here there's different challenges there's different challenges so you're gonna get these cards oh Ooh, darn okay, I, got, I got my little special thing oh, yeah. oh you got okay. it okay so we're gonna show them like the starter first yeah, we're going with the easies. We're going to do the easy. <laughs> so so what you're trying to do on this is... They're, and they're color-coded, guys, for the different levels and they're, of play. Yeah, they're double-sided. Master expert starter. So mm -hmm. you, get, you get them double-sided, and there's 60 different challenges. 60. Which I love. Okay. So what you're trying to do, and, and oh, also, by the way, you're going to see that the giraffe cannot actually go through oh. trees, which in, it makes sense, right? It does. And, they can nibble on it. And then, like yeah. this guy, he is a lion, and his piece will not let him go into the water. He doesn't really like water. Oh. He doesn't want to do that. Right. Um, and so then, uh, I can't remember the lion. He uh, lion can't go in here. And then the elephant, if he was trying to get through the, the rainbow, he is not able, he's a little too wide for the green grass okay. on the side. Right. So there's a couple challenges that are built in. And you, you know, you'll get to know that. Or, you know, imagine that we're three. But basically, what we're trying to do is achieve from the side line, just like what, what Kathleen showed. And this is going to be hard because... So we're trying to create this side view. So the side view here, so we would turn our elephant, and then if that makes sense to you guys, the yeah. side view. And, and that's our first puzzle. And that's the first puzzle. Here. So oh, we okay. achieved it. Here, while you do that. Here. Okay. So turn it sideways, okay. and there's our little guy. So there you guys go. Right oh, here we go. <laughs> <laughs> He's going to be like that. So there, we matched our first, first match. Our first challenge. So now we can go in a few. Just to show hey, you. I'm gonna, and I'm going to ask a favor of everybody. Can you um, put the word out that we're on? We're a little light on viewers. Oh, yeah. So do some shares for us. We'd really appreciate yeah, it. Yeah. So do some shares. And then I just moved it. I was going to show you. And I was trying to find one that I actually already did. Because, of course, you know, on live uh, Facebook, we don't really want to be, like, not being able to achieve the the three-year-old toy <laughs> level <laughs> but okay here's one this is one that I did so I did this one okay so we have our giraffes and they're both going out the opposite way oh, nice. and so then what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn it back down hopefully you guys can see this okay Hi, thanks for watching okay. on Instagram and so now we've got so one giraffe is going to be pointing this way and then we've got to move the lion, though, out of the way. So I've got to get him out of the way. So I'm going to be keeping moving, moving, moving. Moving the elephant in there. Moving our giraffe. I thought the giraffe could go through there, but maybe... Oh, here we go. Ashley, thanks for sharing. Yay. Okay, here we go. We're moving the giraffe there. We're moving the lion out of the way. Then we can move the giraffe back. We're moving them back, 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 back around. And again, kids will love playing with the little pieces. And then here we go. So now you can see that my view. Hi, Mindy. Hi, Angie. Thanks for from joining. From here. Actually, it's not right. What? Oh, my goodness. It's not right. I did one that was just the giraffe on either side. But this is actually the giraffes are in the middle. Oh. So here. the view is different. Oh. So the view. The view is, is going to be like. Oh, they are in the middle. 
Wait, are they each looking they're a looking, different way, right? Yeah. They're each, each looking back. A different way. So there you go. Is that Isn't right? that? Yeah. I don't know if that is that right? Yeah. Okay guys, what do you think? Is that right? The view? No, see the tree's going this way. Can we move the tree? I don't know. <laughs> okay. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> This is hilarious, right? That's, that's, mo that's more fun with smart games. Yes, more <laughs> more fun. Now, I did do expert. This one, I did. This one, expert. <laughs> I know. 33. It's like, okay, here we, let's. We, well, we, that's on the expert level. I would be very proud of you. I know, right? Okay, so here we go. This is so funny. Oh, God. So it, it is fun, though, and it's not like it's, like, super easy. But look, giraffe cannot go through that rainbow, but it can go through there. But then this guy can't go through. Yeah, he can. Okay, here we go. We're going around. We need the elephant. Get out of the way, tiger. Or lion. Okay, so then this is so funny if I don't quite get this right. Okay, so we're gonna have our elephant first, and he's gonna go in this way, perspective-wise. But he can't, so he's gonna have to go all the way back around. So hopefully you guys can see that this is really fun game. It mm -hmm. is fun. <laughs> okay, but it is challenging. It's not like the easiest thing we've ever done. Okay, guys. So you get progressive challenges as you keep going. And uh, I unfortunately, when I'm on this side, I can't see comments. So is there any comments? Um, no comments quite any, yet. Any questions? But we know you guys love this line. Yes. And um, you could also chime in and tell us your very favorite games because we know usually people yeah. pipe in and say that. Yeah. Um, yeah. Okay, so the next one, and again, when I'm on this side, I'm not able to... Um, look at the comments, so Kathleen will have will. to read it. But this is going to be the next step up, and this is the one I was mm. teasing you with, was called Dress Code. So it yeah. takes color code to an all new level. I love it. Um, with a four plus for this, and the pieces are really fantastic. So hold on one second, and then if you wouldn't okay. mind, the dress code is I put on the ground right sure. there. Um, and so Kathleen's going to get me the dress code, and we have one that's already open, but this is what it's going to look like. Now, if you for instance another family you happen to have uh you could make this uh two-player game by setting a timer oh. and and doing the same challenge for both children what a good idea. and say hey you know whoever gets it at the the you know fastest to solve it is yeah. the winner so then that makes it really a two-player yeah. game or let's say you have a friend and they have one they could bring it over and you could do them at the same time. That would be so fun. that's kind of a fun yeah. way too. So I, um, somebody, or the national sales manager for um, uh, Smart Toys and Games, yeah. Corey, who Corey. we love, Still he Corey. mentioned that in a, a training. Yeah. Wow. Okay, so this one, we're going to turn it down again, guys. Here we are. How's my view? Uh, it comes in a nice box like this. And this is the unit that holds the pieces. Okay, and it also is how you, it's like the game, but then it's toy game storage. So it all goes back into this, which is so fabulous. And so then you're going to get these. And what I really want you to see, it, now this one, obviously, I did not test out. I watched how to play it, and I have played it at shows. Um, but this particular one here, you get these really nice, um, Alicia Johnson says, lovely haircut oh nice haircut. thank you so Thanks, much Alicia. but these are really nice what would you call it is it plastic it? but it's like a plastic yeah tiles yeah they are okay almost like and cards yeah it's almost like cards but they're like really thick and nice okay so very durable and then again it all will go back into this as storage which is cool it but is this is so durable. it's that's like why the, people love color coast so much. yeah so yeah. i am gonna try to come down okay. and see if all that right. works okay, i'll let you know here in a sec okay we got a new little one of these things all right. that's, okay that's a great view of it is this a good view yeah. okay so now right here oh it's perfect you've got actually your um challenges and so since uh, Kathleen and I both had a long day. <laughs> we we are going to start off with the, one of the early starter challenges. So what you're trying to do, especially since I didn't practice this one ahead of time, you've got these tiles and you can lay them out and you can try to find, this is the little um, person who has 
um, a garden. This is Kathleen, really. Okay. Kathleen in the Here garden. I am in the garden. But you can tell that they have pink with a white hat. So we're going to try to find a tile that has pink. Oh, that will go under it, right? Or something. Yeah, that Where would that would be pink. So here we got pink, but we also need it to have a white hat. So we got to find a piece and so we can put this in here. So we're kind of doing okay, but it's a white hat and a white flower. So we got to try to find piece that would have white at the top or on just one end. So we're looking, looking, looking. Which one will work? This one could be the one, and it looks like it would be. Maybe, I don't know. Is that gonna work? Does it go behind it? Well, I'm like, wait, hmm. Okay, if we can't do the first one, I'm in trouble. <laughs> well, it's okay. showing white through the back of it, though. Yeah, but, but see, I don't card, think that's what, right. What does the card say? Am I missing a tile? Okay, it says, Oh, it's showing it through the... Yeah. You're right. It doesn't need it then. It oh doesn't my gosh. need it. Okay. It's okay. Sorry. Okay. It's all right. Remember, this is a starter one. We did it. <laughs> we did it. So we found Congratulations. Two. High five. High Pumps. fives. Yay. <laughs> okay. Fist pumps. Bam. Boom. All right, guys. I was trying to make it a little more complicated. She was. She was. Okay. okay so let's should we do the two. second one? Okay. Yeah, let's do... Okay. So a little swimsuit person. Okay. There so they here's are. a swimsuit person. And... And they have some light blue. Right. So we're, we're going to try to find the blue. And yep. not make it harder than the challenge yeah. really is. Okay. And there it is. Yay. Yay. You okay, so it. maybe we should go okay. a little bit I'm further. I'm going in deeper. Without I'm, going too far. I'm going to this <laughs> oh. challenge. Okay, that okay, one. Okay, so back to the, back to the gardener. Person, gardener. Okay. And we're looking Here. for stripes. Let's so we got to have some stripes. Okay. But we also have light blue. Right. So that is really Interesting. quite a lot. Okay, mm -hmm. so we here we've got some stripes this okay and then some stripes oh, yeah. and they're going this look way at, look at you go and then here i'm going and i'm gonna put it down here and voila voila congratulations okay. maybe we should go much harder whoa guys okay. whoa all right okay <laughs> All we're right. talking expert expert really? okay okay expert. okay let's go back to swimsuit okay we're going back to swimsuit so we're gonna get the little swimsuit person okay and well it's kind of very similar isn't it i know but so no we don't want that one because it's really the same this stuff oh, i think well see right. look at me i'm on a okay. roll wow she bam she's there good you go okay here okay put all that right. okay so then Figure this one, one out, has lady. this kind of stripes but it also has yellow. We have a yellow back. back. Oh, this does have yellow. Oh, so then so there we that go. helped. Okay, and so now we're We've going got... here. Voila. Nope, that doesn't work because the hat oh, is the not hat striped. Is so there's got to be something else going on How there. How about, could it be this one? Ooh. Yeah, Kathleen okay. got it. Hey, Kathleen. Here we go. Bam. Hello. Yay. We got it. Woohoo. Okay, so just looking at what this game is without knocking everything down. Yay. Um, and so that is dress code. You know what I'm not doing? I'm not what? changing the different things so that they can't see because I have to come around to show it on Comet Soul. Oh, so I'm so Comet sorry, Soul. guys. So hold on. So we will recap. Oh. Can we go back and recap? We're going to have to go back and recap. So you do that? can you come around and you be the recapper so that I can go and change it? To you mean you want me to be the holder? The holder of yes. the product yes. and then mention what it is. Okay. Let okay. me write down a couple people here. Okay. Hi, Kathleen everybody. Hello. Is yeah. Okay. We just I'll be need. Right there. So yeah. Okay, so, so I'm gonna go switch it so that you guys can see the name of it. Okay. okay so in between each one, I'm gonna have to go around, and then Got you'll it. have to be so here. So what, what do you want me to do? Just, just stand here and entertain everyone with a picture of this. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> We're trying new. something new. Michelle okay. always says. Okay. <laughs> dress yes, code. Yes, dress code. And so that was the game. Yeah. What, what do we do? We, the little summary of that. Oh, the little the summary of plus. dress code. Yep. Okay, here we go. So here we are. It's a four plus, one player, 80 challenges. Okay. And you saw how we were using these wonderful tiles. You layer them, just like the old color code, but this is dress code. And you're layering them, 
and you are building little outfits for cute little people. Yeah. Yeah, and it's, it's great. It's really about sequencing. Yeah, so it is. Sticky. It is. And these are, again, these are like, I'm not going to say indestructible, but they're close to it. Yeah. These are like really fire, great. So it's a great, <laughs> a great game to yeah. have at a cabin or yeah. just pack with you. And, and it's kind it, of small, really, all right? Put it all away. And so we're talking up. travel game. Yeah, it's a travel game. Yeah. I know it doesn't look like it's a big box, but it is a travel game. Yeah, so, yeah, it's awesome. awesome. There you go. All right. So okay. Now I'm are you spinning? Around. Bye. I'm spin it around. <laughs> I know. Whoa! Here we are again, guys. Okay. So Kathleen and I are going to play this next game. And you are going to think like, here, I got to change it. So make sure I change it. Thank you guys for being on here and for commenting. We really appreciate it. It makes us feel kind of loved, I guess, to have our friends on tonight. So thank you so much. This game is kind of unique and it doesn't really look like it would be from Smart Toys and Games, but it is. And it's called a Mimic. And this is not a one, a single player. In fact, they recommend ages, uh, ages four plus, but for two to four, two to six players. Oh. And it's kind of almost more fun if you have more people. Don't sit down, Kathleen, because you're going to okay. come play this game I'm with me. To, I'm down a couple names. Okay, so we okay. got more names. More yes. Uh oh, Kathleen. Oh, the chicken slide tile game. It's super fun. Well, wait, what? Chicken slide? <laughs> okay, I'm not sure. I'm not following along. Is that a? Is there a joke in there somewhere? No, <laughs> okay. Chicken slide. I don't like know. Sliders? Sliders? I'm getting hungry. I don't know. <laughs> like, whenever we talk about food, let me tell you, we're gonna end on food coming up here, guys. Okay, so we're gonna show you these uh, games. Then we're also going to show um, our advent calendars, which are right behind me. Um, and then we have just a couple things that we're gonna end the show with. So. So, yeah, not this time, sadly. Uh-oh. <laughs> not a joke. Are there, are there extra it's a smart game. Play? Oh, I don't know. Oh, I think it's a you travel, the travel one. What's that? Uh, Corey is wondering, are there extra cards you can buy on the um, dress code? Oh, I don't question. think at this point, I don't think so, but um, that's a great opportunity yeah, and I will pass, I will pass that along. You're listening, smart games. Yeah, smart toys yeah. and games. Okay, yes. so this one is, um, again, some of these are actually items that are shown in our holiday catalog. So you guys probably got your holiday catalogs by now. If not, then you can come into the store and pick up a copy. Um, but this Mimic game, what you have it's, is you've got little faces, all right, um, on these different cards. And you're going to start off, everybody's going to start off with four cards randomly. So I just shuffled them up. All right. And then can you come yes. over? Yes. And um, yes, yes. Pika Doodle, oh yeah, is from Fat Brain. Okay. Yes, that's true. Right. So um, Kathleen's going to oh, come around sure. here because we don't need us. A, okay. We're going to actually, this is the fun part she doesn't know yet, okay? Oh, boy. Is that she's going to have four cards. I'm going to wear a cup on my and, head. Okay. No. <laughs> so okay. she's going to have four cards. I'm going to have four cards. So okay. I'm going to show you what my four cards are. Uh, do I get to look at my cards? You can. You can look, but you don't look at mine. Okay. Oh. And then here you go. Then you okay. can show them your oh, four cards. It kind of looks like you. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Okay. So these are mine. Okay. <laughs> All right, and so okay, then am what's going to happen? Them mine? Can I show them oh, mine? Oh, thank you so much. You're so sweet. Okay. Can I show them mine? Yeah, then you okay. show yours without me looking. Okay. Don't you think that kind of looks like myself? <laughs> <laughs> okay, so now what's going to happen is Ooh. if, do you have pairs, any pairs in there? Yes, I okay. do. Okay, you're trying to get four that are the same. Okay. Okay. In order to do that, you have to ask me if I have that card that you're trying to make a four. Oh, do I have to make the face? And she's got to make the face. Oh, my <laughs> Lord. Okay. <laughs> okay. So it's her turn. Now, if there were more people, let's say you guys, That's and multiple, funny. then you would ask me. And then if I had some, I'd give them to you. And if I had multiple, I would give you all of okay. mine. And then it would go the next person. You'd keep going until somebody doesn't have and then by the way the youngest person gets to go first That's which nice. is me oh, yeah. <laughs> okay i'm teasing so i am gonna do one and i hey. am going <laughs> can they see that face <laughs> and, and what do i say when i want to say no and then oh you go really <laughs> yeah 
<laughs> she sticks her tongue out if it's there's not. Okay. All right. So now my you turn. go. Mm -hmm. Okay. Here's mine. And hopefully. Oh, and so if I didn't get any, I get to draw a card. Oh, okay. So I'm drawing a card. Okay. So here's mine. <laughs> now I got to look through my cards to see if she has. Oh. Oh, oh, is it this person? Uh, yeah. It's this person. So I'm going to give her mine. Okay. And it's just a silly, fun game. Okay, but I'm so, being but, competitive because yes, we are. are. Yeah, that's true. Well, she is, Michelle. You I guys am very all know competitive. <laughs> how competitive she is. Oh, oh hi, Sarah. Sarah Bone Bozon okay. as well. Okay, all right, now what happened? Kathleen. Okay, so we just would be keep going back and so forth, but we should play a couple now? times. Uh, can I ask yeah. you one? Uh, yeah. yeah. Okay, this is a really fun one. I don't know if one is a two-player, if you get to do that, but I think so. So keep going. Okay. Yeah. Do you have... And then show the face. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh oh is it this one yeah yeah it's, kathleen is clearly good at this game <laughs> like you're gonna make faces all right so okay. i have not gotten any matches kathleen's got okay. a few she's right. going for four okay okay all right so and um oh so you keep going now, i think we're not sure about so the two you player. could have more than one of the one i need uh, so no, I, I would have had to give them to you. Oh, all of them. Yeah, oh, okay. I have to give all of them. So I have to get maybe something on a draw. Okay, yeah. so am I asking you now? Well, maybe I should ask you now. We're, okay, we're just allowing ahead. her to. Okay, Okay. Michelle's so, trying to get close to me because okay. I'm winning. So here's Hold mine. On. I got to like really look at this. I'm like going like this, and then I'm going like this, and I'm going like that. Okay. Wait, hold on. <laughs> 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 okay i'm thinking is it i know is oh it thank you rawan okay no it's not quite but it was close oh. this one oh um, that one you didn't, okay you didn't tug on your ears enough. i didn't tug on <laughs> okay all right so you guys got to see it yeah. it's a silly pretty fun, funny fun little card game 9.99 um and again you can play with more players they suggest two to six i think it plays out a little bit better with more Cute. more players okay so moving right along we, I know that you guys are familiar with these games, the IQ Fit, and now I can't even find it. Okay, IQ Fit is the one that's in a small box, and when I'm opening this one up, I don't think we'll play the whole thing out because it'll take a, a while, but I just wanted to see how clever this is. This is how you would put the game back so that you can travel with it. It truly is like the... Um, the smartest the, it's a smart game, but it's a great travel game. And this is one of their top selling. One of my favorites. Yeah. And so, again, this is one. It's like very small little game. And when they say six plus, I'm not kidding. You start off at easy, but, again, progressively getting harder. And, you know, you need oh, to be pretty good so right at this. So you're setting your pieces up, and then you have to fill in the rest of them uh, in order to solve the the challenge and then you keep going and in this small little game oh, it's for fun. what i think it's 12.99 it is there's 120 challenges yeah. so if you're traveling and you don't already own one of these i highly recommend the iq fit this is a really really good one from them and this is a very nice um box that they're in now it's yeah easier it to... actually makes a really good stock stuffer yeah or even a desk like i'm not kidding when it says plus don't be fooled it says six to adult oh, it's, this because one's addictive. this is something that adults could What's could it? have i mean this is like almost one of their original originals ones. Yeah. that launched the exactly. line and there yeah. are other ones and really they all cool. play a little bit differently yeah. so i'm just gonna give you this one over so again if you have any of these already <laughs> let a, your friends it, um i mean the, i just say it's a puzzle in itself putting it back away <laughs> back as a wrap now and then yeah. the box would like get open in my bag or something yeah. but and this I'd be is like, so clever that's the i would have way. to put them Back in well thankfully i know yeah, this you need was the key smart card. this is the key yeah. to how it's to put really it back. awesome yeah, yeah it is cool um yeah, okay so we're moving right along but if you've ever had any of these games please let your friends and your piccolo mondo toy friends know um success what yeah. 
what I had was, um, there was a different game, very, very similar that we had, and my son played it at a store in Hawaii when we were on vacation. Oh. And I swore that he, he, and I had just opened the store, and so we'd have only been maybe open like maybe a year, and he talked about that game over and over and over again until I finally figured out what game it was, and I ordered it for the store, and uh, yeah, and so these can be really addictive because he wanted to keep solving those uh, puzzles. So these are puzzles, again, single player, but if you had two of them, you could turn this into a competitive challenge. And I think that Kathleen and I probably should do that sometime. Yeah. <laughs> uh, and it's good for your brain too. So again, be thinking that it's actually even good for your fine motor skills trying to get the game out of the package. <laughs> I'm not quite sure what is happening here, but um, imagine that you might even have, um, you know, uh, loved ones who are going through either physical therapy because it's fine motor skills for putting in these pieces or, um, you know, maybe it's a retired somebody, a grandparent or somebody, and you just want to keep your brain active. These are really great things that you can do to keep your um, cognitive so, so abilities. Kathy, Kathy yeah. Carmen is saying that she even got that for her mom. Yes, exactly. That's perfect for restaurants. So these are really good. And now this one is like a crisscross called the stick. So again, many of these different ones, so see how they have the grooves? That's so cool. you've got to actually make the pattern in there. And they'll tell you many times how to place, where to place some of them. Gosh, I haven't and seen that this one's that. newer. So that's, that's why I kind of cool. wanted to show the different ones that we have. Um, and you start off with level one and it's show it. For them. Do you know okay. The backstory on that? His, there's a designer, there's two different ones and they also have cognitive behavioral um, specialists oh. who are on staff that rate their games. Oh. So for instance, um, I'm going to jump ahead. Ha ha. Cause I forgot uh -huh. this one. Oh. Um, <laughs> I think, or I'm actually, I haven't done it yet, but see how here, when it talks about the, the top five, so there's like 11 cognitive um, functions, skills, and they will always rank it and tell you the top five in any one game. So we'll be showing oh, that one so in a Sean, little bit. Sean, Sean came remember. up with a joke for us. Yeah, he said, uh, stick. challenging but rewarding if you stick to it. Yeah, you gotta stick to this one. Yes, yeah. exactly. I don't know if anybody, this one was out I, either last year or the year before, so it's oh, fairly okay. newer, yeah. And it's just kind of cool, uh, cool. Well. That would be like a great cubicle item just for an adult to have exactly cool yeah down. and you could make friends because they were going to want to come over and do these challenges yeah. if you work in like that type of atmosphere all right i'm cleaning up my workspace speaking of working okay. um over here doing? i'm doing okay. okay i'm just getting these things out of here okay. all right let's talk about some special events that are coming up for piccolo mondo uh we're testing some toys here um but we're going to invite uh kids to come in between november the 9th to the 14th and i'm going to post this on our social media i'm going to send an email out but we are bringing back our gift registries. We used to call them the wish list, uh, but because our website, they call it the gift registry, um, kids are going to be able to earn a $5 uh, gift card to be able to use in stores. Um, and I can make an online code if you need to, um, you know, not come into the store to use it. But basically this is for kids to $5. create their wish list and when they turn it in, either you can send it to us, uh, like send us a DM and tell us that you filled it out um, on our website through the gift registry, or which is a tradition for many, many parents, is to come in and let your kids kind of mosey around and uh, try out any of the toys um, that we have open, some demos that we have, and they can add it to their gift registry at the stores and then we are able to then um, give them their gift card in the store, oh, which yeah. is so fun. And they have until the end of the year to use it. Each child in your family would make their own list, and then each one gets a $5 gift card. So, okay. yeah, so that's... So the kids can actually come in and use it. Exactly. So it is meant to be for the kids. Uh, and so that is, yeah, so that's kind of fun. And, yeah, so just it's in store. But we do know and want to be flexible for some families who... Um, 
who d don't want to come in. Uh, the stores are getting busier on the weekends, um, so just keep that in mind. Sometimes the first thing in the morning or later in the evening on the weekends is a good time, sometimes around lunchtime, but it is getting a little bit busier, so just keep that in mind. Uh, we also are able to do it online if you prefer. So you have until the 14th of November. Also um, expiring on the 14th of November, is our Piccolo Mondo Toys uh, coupon from the back of our catalog. Mm. I know that online it's working. Kathleen and I tested it right before. It looks like the early 10 is working, but not the 20 on comments sold. And I'm not oh. quite sure, so I'm gonna have to go check that out. But on our website, both of these codes are working because we've already received orders for that. And, when, um, when are those and up? this is wrapping up on November 14th. So this is our early bird coupons um, that we have and that offer. Um, and then I just also want to let you know that we have our school shopping days are back. We are doing 20%. I know some of the schools are thinking it's 15%, uh, but we are going to do 20% this year. 20% goes to the school. So if you shop for your school and let us know to a registered school, we have to have a contact at that school. Okay. It's not too late to register. Um, they can, you know, sign up still. Okay. Um, but it, that starts on November 12th, which is Sunday, and it goes to the 17th. So that's one of the reasons why we do the wish list is like, hey, kids put things on the wish list, but then you can, um, you know then, and you can come in and do the shop for the schools, yeah. which then 20%. Now we can't double dip, we're not doing the coupon and the 20, it would be one or the other. And a lot of times we have families that'll split up their purchases and do one with the coupon and one for the school. And 20%, yeah, so you can totally do that. And I will, like I said, I'm gonna be sending an email out and it'll have both things. So, schools? yeah, so I think we have a lot because each store yeah. ha does a community yeah. building I mean, today, with, yeah, there's a lot of schools. And we've been doing that for years and then we kind of, school. Um, had to during, uh, yeah. you know, 2020 and 21, we didn't do it. So anyway, but we're back doing very that. Generous and so yourself. very I'm fun. Oh you. yeah. We've been doing it for years yeah, and yes. <laughs> yeah. So it's a lot of fun. And then we also dates to be determined. I just need to get it on the calendar, but we are also doing our grandparent events and then we have oh, sip and oh, I know we we've got um, a tree lighting at both the Bethany uh, store as well as our holidays for downtown oh, like Hillsboro, and then we also have Sip and Shop that's coming up, oh, and that's yes. on December second. Yes, which by the way is my dad's birthday. So yay! Okay, okay, some questions. Are signed up. Okay, that is going to be in the email um, that is going to be going out, and maybe I can post it, maybe in and either stories or somewhere. I'm going to have to post a picture. So, uh, what school, Sarah? Um, I mean, we have a lot of schools around here that are that are uh, signed up. So, um, yeah, so, uh, I could check it. So, if you want to send me a DM, I can check the school. That's so one way. Like but list. we normally do have the master list printed. I just have. To, I went away, guys, for the weekend, and I did it. Uh, my grandparents had been married 72 years. My grandfather had passed away five years ago, and but it was his wish that they have a celebration of life went for, for both of them. And so my grandmother um, had passed away. She was 99 and a half. Um, and so we just had this most amazing family get together um, in Southern California. And so Merrick and I went down there, and it was wonderful. But I do not have my marketing materials for a couple of these events done. So I owe that to you. So grandparents, definitely. And then can out-of-state grandparents partake in the day online or calling in? Uh, yes, you. they would be shopping for the schools and we can work those details out so that the schools can yeah. get the credit. Yes, absolutely. So, so all the event details are mm -hmm. forthcoming. Yeah. Everybody. Yes. Yeah. Right? Um, the online part is tricky. The calling in we for sure can do the online because the school is the customer in this situation. And so that is where it's a tiniest bit tricky. Um, but let me, let me work on that. Okay. Um, so okay. thank you so much. Okay. Yay. Yes. Yeah, so now? yeah. Celebrating family. Always good. Okay. I am so excited to show you this next game, which is the, it's new and it is 
their best seller for the year. Of course, like I said, IQ Fit and then a Puzzler Pro also from the IQ line are their top two. But this is coming on strong and it was brand new for, you can see how adorable the pieces are. We've already sold out, I think twice and we've oh, reordered. And so um, we are gonna flip this around again, okay. hopefully, okay. and show you the, the uh, how to play this one. So here's our demo. We've got it okay. ready. Okay. Yeah, we've got the game on. And um, and then if you want to take yeah. these two. And boy, you guys are close. Woo, okay. <laughs> All right, here we go. There's Kathleen. Hi. Hi. Hello. Cat's in the box. Here we go. Isn't that fun? Yeah. Look at those down. kitties. Now, you can I can go down do and I'll do this part down. And then you just have to make sure that the phone okay. itself is straight. Okay. okay, I think we're good. All, All right. right, so here is how you play this. Again, this is kind of similar. Oops, I'm going to try to open package. this guy. I'm moving that, without maybe not him. there for fun. There yeah. you go. Okay, and okay. then, so what you have are these cute little kitties that go into this board. Okay. And you have different challenges. Okay, so they gonna bring it, we're going to come down more. Okay. Okay. We're gonna come down. See, is that how that works? Yeah, you gotta do it at okay. the arm part. Okay, here we go. Is that better? Yep. Okay. Here we go, everybody. How's it's that? It's just a little tippy. Today, everybody. It's tippy. Okay, I'll it's hold not it. gonna work. I'll do it. Here you go. Um, How's that? Oh, oh. We can push it back. Okay. Is that okay. gonna work? Yeah, I think that's working. Okay. Uh, okay. Don't breathe, anybody. <laughs> okay. okay. So if you wanna go look at it. Yep. Okay. So here is this challenge. So it's gonna tell you where to put your kitties. Obviously, you have different color kitties. You got a white one, a gray one, black. And then it's telling you where to put your boxes. Okay. And then in this challenge, you need to actually pick up the piece and then place it in a way that you're covering your kitty. So you mm, want to put, right. make sure that all the kitties. <laughs> and then I think it tells you. I think it tells you which ones you have to do first. Okay, so it does. So I actually did not go correctly. The first box that I need to move is this one. So I gotta move this one and I'm gonna turn it. Now, initially it tells you as you're learning, it tells you which ones and then oh. as it gets harder, it's not gonna it tell, tell you. you but I sure appreciate the help. Got it. <laughs> Got All right, it. so this is the first one, and I'm going to put my cute little kitty here, the orange one, in that box. Okay, so number two, I need to move this one, which is here. So I am going to turn this piece around so that the kitty is in the box. Now I'm going to go number three. So I'm taking number three. I'm putting the kitty in the box. Number four is this guy. So I am actually... I've got double boxes on this, so I gotta flip it around, and now all the kitties are in the box. Is that not the cutest that game? That is the cutest. Yeah. And that, when was that one? When was this that year. Out? This year. So and it must be a hot it's one. It's really hot. Oh, it's cute. Yeah. So this is one of my picks, I think, for the year. So anyway, you can imagine how it can get progressively harder. And there are 60 different games and challenges within this box. And I just, I, they suggest that it's seven to adult um, here. You have to know your child. So if you have a really super, of course, we only have the most brilliant kids in this neighborhood, right? But, but if you have a really brilliant child, you may be able to go down. But I just think that this is even great for teenagers. Um, you know, great to have on a coffee table because it's so cute. And I think the... On these games, yeah, is the wide age appeal? It we can, appeals to everybody. It appeals, yeah. And yeah. so the tiles remind me of that beautiful tile game, Azul, and kind of just beautiful, beautiful. And then again, it all goes back into this little style. So you could take it in a car on a car ride, even like because all the pieces fit yeah. nicely here. Corey and Kathy so, are going. I I've, wanted them by 
I'm telling you, I love this. This is a pick. This is one of my picks for the year. Okay, Kathleen, can you come around and tell us what you like about this game while I switch to, <laughs> to I the other game? I, like. <laughs> I know. I'll Kathleen's right coming down. around to the B. Okay. Corey is buying one. Oh, Kathleen's thank you. Yeah, good job, guys. Yeah, so sold in the number that's above me. I can't see your comments, okay, but I appreciate come. it. And this is the time. Now, if you guys want us to gift wrap these, either mm -hmm. for a birthday, this is a great one because it's nineteen ninety nine. dollars oh. So that's a great birthday party price birthday point. Party. Um, you that? can tell us you want us to gift wrap it and or for the holidays. So we have our Hanukkah as well as our Christmas paper here. Uh, we know that there's Diwali. And so Diwali, sometimes we do the green with the little dots. So if you want this for a celebration uh, or a birthday, you can tell us, you know, birthday and the, the favorite color of the child and then we'll just wrap it for you. Okay? Perfect. So Perfect. here is Kathleen to talk more about, <laughs> about this new well, game that I don't know anything here. about. But oh, I know it's cute. Okay. And I we know. just sold two lickety splits. Oh, wait, so, wait. Okay. yeah, All it right. is great. So but, now we're going to be going back around and we're going to... Here comes Michelle, I'm done. I know. So she's she was doing a placeholder. Woo. So again, you know what we could do is we could move the computer around. Duh. Oh my gosh, uh, Kathleen. So yeah. we're we're working out the bugs on this thing, but look at the cute squishables behind me. <laughs> All right, and also we're donating to the KGW uh, Great Toy Drive oh, here nice. at Bethany, nice. and we're going to be doing the Hillsboro Firefighters at Hillsboro yeah. and the With Love um, from uh, it, it Progress Ridge Store. So okay, jump in. So. Cute. That, this is one of our best sellers as well that we do so well with. Same size game kind of thing. But the components, if you're into mushrooms, uh, this is recommended also for 7+. Plus. And Kathleen, we were setting yes. this game up. Yes. I might need you to come over okay. and she's going to explain this one, I think, right? right? Um, yeah, okay. Because okay. she was the one that was kind of doing this game. Here. But basically, okay. it's very similar. You can yeah. see a trend. There's some rules that where, you've got to yes. stick to. So, so, yeah, so I'm going to read them she's while read you are and, Okay, I'll move them. the piece for Kathleen, maybe. So what we have here, my friends. Uh oh Does this look right? I'm gonna, let me go uh, and check. Oh, here, I'll here, Actually, I'm going to turn it around. Oh, okay, I'm we're getting around. smart. We're getting smart. We're moving the camera. How does I mean, it look? Computer. Does that uh, look good? Well... Probably needs to be more it like that. It actually shows. God, I hope we're still on live. Did oh, I hit it. a button? No, you're on live. Oh, I, am? I just moved it. It's so weird. It looks okay. good. It just needs to get closer again. Okay. Because this is so not helping. I can't use this. I was thinking I was going to be so smart, but I can't. It's stuck on oh, Safari. Oh, you were going to be so smart, like yeah. smart game. Yeah, I was, <laughs> was going to be so smart. Okay. I need to get closer down yeah, like that. I need to get closer down like that. Okay. Oh yeah, that's perfect. Okay. okay. It, here it goes. It's okay. You know, there we go. I'm a little late. Okay, here we here. go. Okay. Perfect. Okay. So the there's story a on this, guys. Yeah, there's a you've delay. You've got the cute fox. So you've got foxes, bunnies, bunnies, mushrooms, and little rabbit holes. Little rabbit holes. Okay. So the so object on this one is you want to get the bunny. I set that one up for the beginner one because mm. we're beginners, everybody. Yes, we are. Okay, Which we one go. are we doing? We're doing. Oh, the beginner. Number yes. two. We're doing number one. Oh, yes, it's number one, but it has two moves. Oh, two moves. Okay. Oh, that's what that's for. So oh, that's. Good job. <laughs> Excuse me. So it's got two moves. So Working. we want to get the bunny into a bunny hole. Okay. And so on this hole. one, we can, we have to move over an obstacle. obstacle. So we couldn't exactly. just go like that. No. We have to move over. So that's one move. Right. And we could move over. Can we move over multiples? Yes. Kathleen? We can. And that's so, how you get there. Bam. That is done. <coughs> All right. Now, there is something about a sneaky fox that comes along yes. in this one. And there's one. the fox. And the little fox. And so. And remember what it says about him. He can... He, he I can don't, move slide. I don't. Hang on. Okay. Kathleen's getting herself ready here. And so some of these can go in the little pot. So we're going to do number 15, and I hope I don't I regret a it. Tickle. Okay. I hope I don't regret 15. I'm doing it. Okay, that. you're I'm doing that one? Up. Okay, hang on. Okay, whoa. So the fox, you guys, the foxes move by sliding forward or backward. Foxes cannot jump over obstacles or be placed elsewhere on the board. So the fox is only... Go and forward and backward. Guy. 
and we got a white bunny that goes here. Okay. And so I think it's Look ready you. to go. Look at I, you challenging woo, yourself. Woo, I know. Go, now, girl. This is the part where I'm now I'm worried. Okay, now we've <laughs> got to get that bunny into a so bunny hole. It slides. Yes. And, oh, how many moves? There's there's seven moves. Oh, no, nine uh, moves. Nine oh, moves my gosh. on that one. Oh, wow, guys. So the, the fox or the bunny has to go over obstacles to get to the hole. I'm slightly regretting my choice. <laughs> so I think that if we were to move, can you, we could move the fox up? Yeah, I think so. And then Bunny could go over, right? Yeah. Is that a possibility? I feel so like that it. makes two. Yeah. And then can we move him diagonal? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, you can. So there. That's two. There. Um do we get to move the mushrooms? No, they have to stay where they're yeah. at, right? So then we could move, I don't know, move him back in here. No. And then there and then there. You could do diagonal. It's still not really helping me 100%. Uh, I could get him back over here, but then what happens? Okay, so see, we see, are we're stumped. stumped already. <laughs> so maybe we, we go to number... <laughs> <laughs> maybe we go back to a starter <laughs> well, and we do the last to use the one. Fox, that's the oh. thing. Oh, those see, are that's... all no foxes. Yeah. So the oh. fox, okay. he really adds Okay, let's element. try number 13. Okay, we're going to try. Start okay, we're going to set do it over different. Do overs. Okay, okay, you got that. Fox goes this way. Okay, there you go. And then the white bunny is here. And the white and bunny is And it's only there. a four mover. That seems more doable for right okay, now. Okay, so four moves. Okay. okay. Let's get that bunny go into a bunny <laughs> hole. Okay, so... So well, we I go. feel like I want to go either there or there because that's our only two moves. So we're going. One. So if we go there, we could move him in there. here. Are you ready? <gasps> Ooh, go here. Ooh, go, go there. Three and go there. Four. Woohoo! Yeah! Yay! We did okay. It. Okay. All right. So now, hold up, and then here's <laughs> Kathleen again. <laughs> There you go, right. and then that's just for you. And yeah. then I'm going to go around and get us to the next gate. Okay. Okay, so you just keep telling them about how much you like that. She one. didn't tell me I was going to do all this tonight, you well, guys. We didn't really know. We didn't know. We never <laughs> oh, know. Yeah. Now saying, we shoot from the hip. So it is adorable, and we did love the little kitties, but come on now. These bunnies. These bunnies. And it, this one's been out a while. So These bunnies are cute. You the best seller yeah. and then the new best seller taking over. There we go. All right. The kitties are taking okay, over. Okay, here she goes. Okay. I, are we flipping? What are we doing? Now, oh, okay. And we're going to oh. do. And this a is the special game. new one. This is a new yeah. game. Okay, so I'll take these away. Back. Yeah. Okay. All right, so she's taking that back. Okay, so then whoop, whoop, we're going up because you don't want to see. <laughs> the middle section of me okay here we go this is tower stacks and kathleen before you sit down the tower oh, yeah. stacks so the demo is just right there and then she's getting that for me this is another new one and what is cool about again all of these games are going to tell you what skills cognitive skills you're learning so in this particular one we've got problem solving we've got spatial insight we have planning concentration Definitely, we need this concentration and assuming? visual perception. Okay, so this one is called Tower Stacks. Now, what's unique about this game is that this is the only game where you actually have game pieces like this that don't have a board. This is the only game that Smart Toys and Games makes that doesn't actually have a game oh, board. Yeah. And so they all have a tray or yes. sort of sorts. So the pieces are these castle pieces like this, okay? And so they're 3D, like mm -hmm. voila. And then what is nice though is if you want to put the game back in the box, this is what the tray looks like so that you can get oh. those pieces because it's a puzzle back in the in yeah so it's a puzzle in and of itself. Uh, and then it comes with your different challenges here. Okay, and it tells you how to, to do the, the gameplay here. And then you've got your um, your different challenges. So it's telling you, and now this one, guys, I did not, I meant to open it before I ran out of time at my house doing my other part of my jobs. <laughs> um, and so it's telling us that we're using the two-player orange, okay? I mean, not when I say two, it is like, an L or like 
it has two spaces here and there. All right, and then it's telling us that we've got a pink, okay? And so we're using this pink here. We are gonna need to use this blue, the darker blue, and then we're also going to use the lighter blue. Okay, now I'm gonna actually, along the way, so we now have these four pieces, and I'm gonna turn it down and I'm gonna start to read the instructions. So how are we doing on our visual here? We're moving this out hey. there. Better. And then we're gonna go down. Yeah, then I get it closer. That's looking pretty good. Pretty darn good. Okay, so now I'm gonna have to read the instructions. I apologize for that, but it says you choose a challenge and we chose the easiest one. At each challenge shows the ground level of a castle um, in the puzzle pieces. So we're gonna need to put it in that, that configuration. So there's your first challenge where you've got like this, and you've got your pink coming around here, and then you've got your blue that's coming off the pink. Okay, so this is how it starts. And it says, you, uh, puzzle pieces are indicated by the color. To set up the game, place the indicated puzzle pieces adjacent to each other as shown from the top down view. Then you need to stack the remaining puzzle pieces on top of the ground floor. Mm. So we're gonna use all these other pieces and we have to stack them on top. Um, it says, in the starter and junior level challenges, it requires six pieces, <clears throat> while in the other levels, challenges require nine pieces. Ooh. So castle pieces should always be completely supported by another piece or structure. The castle can have more than two floors, so you can mm. build up if you need okay. to. Um, you don't know how many until you have found the solution. So you don't know how many, and you're going to build up. You're building okay. your castle up. All right, so it says there's only one solution. So I've got to be able to try. Let's see. I'm going to try. Nope, that can't be because there's never going to be one just piece. So this was the setup they had you do? Yeah. For the first one. Right. Okay. So then I'm like, okay. Oh, and maybe. we don't know what color. We don't know what's the answer. We don't. It's really tricky, isn't it? So they want you to stay in the same footprint. Is that the deal? Uh, well, it, I don't know actually on that. I probably should have played this one one time around. Well, it's a lot of games to learn, Michelle. It, it it's was. a lot of games. I know. I learned these games so that I can okay. show you. I think oh, this I think is right. There we go. Yeah. Okay, that's kind that's of a so. Good how do we thing. know when we've got it? We um, don't. We just we, keep going. We don't. No, we got to keep. You gotta keep keep her keep her. Do going. I have a piece? No. Mm -hmm. No. Oh, um, that could work. Oh look at look hello. At that. Team Good job, Kathleen. So is this a teamwork one? It could be a teamwork. It could be, couldn't it? I'm the only problem is we've got these two little sides over there and that I don't somebody think. has to go on it. So is that so telling me we're not right like there? Maybe hmm. Mm. I know, I don't know. You can't have those sticking out? I'm is not that sure. the deal? Actually I do not know. And then does it so it so it talks about it <laughs> okay we should have played this one does it give you the solution Dad, you have it. Mine. can i just go like that and put that one there like that oh look what i, I did think it, you i just put it on an end <laughs> will it let me do I that i don't know if it lets you do that <laughs> well it look says that one. i just did that that you get the bottom and i then... just finished my bottom <laughs> <laughs> okay, we're making up our own rules here at the Piccolo Mondo tonight. Look at that. This, see, this wouldn't work because it's no, not no. finishing itself off Maybe there Maybe there's like that. another spot for them. This is the answer, but it looks like you only had to use two different ones, so now hmm. I'm confused. I did the two. Okay, clearly this is the challenging game. Yeah. Tell me that wasn't the Oh, game. okay, see, here it is. You only, you only use some, I guess, a couple of the pieces. Oh. See where it's like. Don't, it's so you much don't, you don't use oh. the green piece. Oh, I don't. And anyway. Purple. Okay, but. Okay, so who's if, brave? <laughs> who's brave out there to start this new one? Yeah, here we go. There you go, Kathleen. There it is. You get to. Okay. 
Yeah, one of you guys. Okay. Okay. I feel like that might be the last of. Oh, oh we got another puzzle. Who's it gonna, is pretty awesome. Who's going to try this and tell us all about it? That's what I want to know. <laughs> okay. Now I, we're going to flip back around. You are? I think. Go yeah, for it. Gonna, Time to flip. I think, Bye. Yeah, this next one. Okay. So hopefully, guys. Whoops, whoops. All right. We were trying. We're trying something new by having. Look, look at our plus plus display. It looks so beautiful. We just got more plus plus. We even have a plus plus advent calendar. We also got a, a matchbox, which advent calendar up here. We don't quite have them in the system quite yet. Um, okay. It was Rosa who asked if we had Pokemon, and in fact, we did have a Pokemon. So I know we're we're at it. We've got to move it on. Okay, so we're gonna go quickly. In fact, we're probably not even gonna open some of these other things, unfortunately. We don't have time. Game playing is a lot, right, guys? A lot. Okay. And uh, so, Kathleen, um, we are going on to the crisscross. So this is what the game looks like. It's super cool. We're going to do the quite the quicker versions oh, yeah, of these. Cool. Yeah. So this is what the game looks like. And you're going to have these nuts and bolts pieces in here. Okay. And then you have the extra pieces so it tells you which ones to put in so kind of similar to the other ones you get your game set up progressive challenges in this particular one you're going to get 80 different challenges cool in the small and so on this next game is i need to be able to add another piece without hitting the other ones okay so if i were to let's say try to put it here it's going to hit this yellow so i wouldn't be able to but I could put it on this side and it could go all the way through, but I'm not sure if that's gonna affect one of my other pieces yet, so I don't know. Um, let's see, if I could, nope, that's gonna hit that, but I could put this blue through here. Um, now I'm gonna try to put a yellow in, and so that yellow could go there, and the red could go right here at the top, and I've now solved the problem this one okay so then you can continue to move your pieces throughout the queue and it sets up in different ways and again a very nice portable option uh, for travel and it is the what is called the crisscross cube so nice one it's a nice one $17.99 again could be a little stocking stuffer if you have a bigger stocking uh, that could work but yeah, a again, a good birthday party yeah. gift. Yes. All right. I know I'm starting to lose people because it's late. Uh, we were going to show you and open this. Maybe we'll do it another time. This is the Smart uh, Max as shown in our catalog, the My First Build and Drive. So now you're looking at ages one and a half to five. We always start off with the young, young. And so we didn't do that this time. They have their own cards. It has wheels. It's so awesome. All right. Um, we are going to go on to some of their other ones. This is for the one to five year olds. These are magnetic pieces and it has the little cute faces teaching kids emotions as well. So that social emotional learning. Um, and again, they're magnetic that cause and effect and you can switch out the different faces and their hats. Of course, this is from the, the line of toys that we love so much. If you were shopping for a one-year-old, two-year-old, these toys are just amazing. What it is, is they're a magnetic uh, with the little animal pieces that go over the top. They can click together. You can have different animals. You could make a super long alligator or a rhino lion. Uh, so you can be creative and put pieces together. Uh, this is one of the very first ones and bestseller for us. Then they also have the dinosaurs, which are oh so cool dinos. So you could, if you had two sets, you could mix and match. You could have a dino rhino, <laughs> very fun. A dino, a dino rhino. rhino. Yeah, if you, if you, the your loved one loves wheels, they have the my first wheels. So smart toys and games has way more than just games. They also have toys for the wee ones. And these are some of our very favorite toys for that age range. So if you've got older siblings, they still can play with them, mix and match, and it's awesome. All right, okay. so great gifts, okay. love those. So now we're gonna- ready for the, the sweet spot. Here. We've been teasing you there all night comes. with the advent calendars, but we do have Thanks the advent calendars, yes. 
So Lego, we also have a few of the last year. So if it was hot, if you guys wanted, they're selling them from way more online now. Um, but anyways, this is this year. So these are the 2023. I know you have a choice in where you get your advent calendars and we would love you to shop local with us. Uh, this one is the Lego City advent calendar. So of course you're gonna have your box. You're gonna have your city. This is like for those of you who like more that city scene, usually has a Santa, it does. It's a little Santa in a tree. And every day you're gonna open up the little box and you're gonna get a little Lego pieces that give you this scene that you see here. So Lego advent calendar, the city one. Uh, then, oh, and it should show you the mini figs that you get uh, with it. Mm, uh, 24 different ones that I don't see the exact the minifigs but um this one is the friends one so the scene is so cute it has a little uh train toy train it also has some little animals I love so one. I love this one hit this is what the scene looks like and again the advent calendars we get here we've got all the little little guys and I mean, when I say guys, they're really animals. They're, they're, there's the animals that you're gonna get in this set and it, you create this little uh, train and uh, play. Train and play. Really All right, so loving that. Um, then we are gonna move right along to somehow the, oh my gosh, the Marvel one escaped us. Um, but we got um, Harry Potter. So we do have the Marvel and I can come in and add it later. So I apologize for this, but this is the Marvel and it's the Infinity Saga, the Avengers. And, and so I will add this to this show, but it just didn't take, I gotta be careful on those. All right, so here is Harry Potter. This is the Harry Potter scene, always a classic. Uh, and so, yeah, so this one, uh, this one is, here we go. It has, it doesn't really show you. The Friends one is sure nice because it shows you the, the mini figs you get, but it looks like you get three mini figs in here and then a whole bunch of different accessories for your little Hogwarts village. Um, very nice. Okay, lastly, and always, the, well, when I say always, except for one year, it didn't, didn't, uh, but this is the one where we usually sell out because the Star Wars are super popular. Um, this year we're getting, oh my gosh, it almost looks Everyone's like a, fine. look at that little cutie, cutie. Wow. Now, if you guys are busy and you want us to deliver these, we can add local delivery. And again, if you're doing through comments sold, um, uh, you, you could, um, you could just tell us which, where you want to pick up, or if you want to have it delivered, just type it in the comments before you check out. Okay. Yeah. So you. that is where that is. And then this is the star Wars one. Yes. Answer. Do, hopefully do we answer. Have a magic or science yes, we do. And they are up there. We have, I think both a, hold on. Let me look up there. It is from our professor, or the purple cow, our That's purple cow. And, um, and I can add those. I, I don't know if they were created online. So if I can, I'll add them. I can't add them as we're on the show. So I apologize for that. Um, but I can always send you information on those, Magdalene. Okay. All right. Thank you so much. Okay. We have two left and these are unique and they just arrived. And this is a little lift the flap puzzle that has the, the your, it's like a countdown. So basically it doesn't open and give you a little treat, but it's just a different style. You're getting puzzle pieces and then you are doing, you've got your 12 day countdown, which is super cool. This one I thought was super unique. And this is the 12 days of wooden ornaments. So if you have a child who wants to count down but then also have I, what i think about this you've got a countdown and then you could decorate and give these as gifts oh, to yeah. your friends or family members as little ornaments so this one's 29.99 of course you could keep them but isn't this cool and unique this is from mindware so really love this one so again you've got your 12 days wooden pieces that you could decorate, you could get some quick sticks and decorate, or if you have paint at home already, you could paint them and then assemble them together and then give them out as little gifts. So uh, we've got a okay. question for 
Um, okay. Natalie. Yes. Hi, I'm, Natalie. Natalie says, I forgot. Do I need to do this through your app? But uh, I you could. recorded her. Uh, oh, yeah. Earlier, she said sold 114 and 115. Yeah, you Does don't have work? to do it in the app. You can do it just by doing sold she, and the number. Does she and she then. Up for that? Oh, yeah. If you've never um, done any of the online shopping, click, type in the word register. Uh, and then you should be able to ha uh, uh, um, have your cart come on. Otherwise, you can go on to our website or shop in the app, uh, but you don't have to have an app. You could, uh, if you want to do Progress Ridge, you just check out like you're at Bethany, okay? And then tell us in the comments that you want to pick it up at Progress Ridge. So through this Comment Sold program, we can only designate one location, and it's here at the Bethany store. Uh, but we do daily trips, almost daily, um, to all the stores and so we can usually get it there within like two days yeah so, she just yeah. Type in so just type in register to, you know, and if you're already yourself. registered then and you want to pick up at progress ridge check out like your bethany and these are for hillsborough shoppers check out like bethany and then uh yeah then we're good all right okay i wanted to show you and this is not quite made the website yet the same with the hot wheels and uh, potentially the pokemon but this is a new cool advent brand new uh, from Great Pretenders and they make the great jewelry. We've got in some really oh, cool, I've been eyeballing it. super cute jewelry. Yeah. But these are, you're gonna get a different charm for the different. So first you get a bracelet, then you get another bracelet, and then you get the charms that are added on. And it is a charm bracelet advent calendar. So we have them in stores now. But we'll have uh, them online really soon. So, okay. Thank you. Can't remember if you've done it online. Okay, you'll try it. Now, if you're just shopping on our website, then hopefully you could select Progress Ridge. But anyway, that's super cute. Yes, thanks, Sarah. All right, and then we're going to end the show. We're going to give our prizes, but then we've got, uh, we're talking turkey, okay? Um, okay and turkey. Uh, I think, Kathleen, if you wouldn't mind just handing me the turkeys and the... Uh, and the end we have yes, some dessert we so go. we're gonna we're gonna switch it over hungry, we're not skipping the holiday of thanksgiving yeah. my husband's favorite holiday because it's a family not. day so I'm gonna it's give you a turkey before dessert yes so you know you we're gonna have hey rosa we're gonna oh, have rosa. a little Let's make sure i get her on squishable there. yeah rosa just popped on a little squishable turkey which oh. he is so cute look at his little feather Nice. And so we are going to be talking. We did some games. Uh, we'll probably do some other things that you could participate Dessert. in as a family. We're going to switch over to the pumpkin pie, the mini squishable pumpkin pie. But we know you have big celebrations coming up. And we love, yes, family, friends, and football. We love Thanksgiving. I uh, love the pie. If you have any family recipes you want to share or like highlights of your thanksgiving our next show we'll be talking about that we'll probably revisit some of our favorite family games again we just did games so who knows what we have up our sleeves kathleen and i are gonna try to get the rest of the year all buttoned up but anyway she is tallying it up so thanks for everybody joining late you were at a paper pie party what a paper pie party that sounds very so excitement yeah thank you guys so much we appreciate you supporting local and if you can't you know go you know get your things with us hopefully you're um supporting another local business there's so many to choose from again we will be uh, sending out our announcements to many of our upcoming events uh and kathleen is just tallying up and then we're gonna give a 25 dollar gift certificate uh, to shop with Piccolo Mondo. I think we're going to do two again today, guys, because we want to give more smart toys so you guys have smart choices. It's fun. And it's just fun to give prizes. So thanks for hanging out. This is kind of a long show. Uh, watch the replay. Hopefully some of you guys, if you do watch the replay, let us know. And uh, we are just almost done. I'm like doing a little dance for you. Okay. Magdalene. 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 Winner, winner. Yay! So number one prize, Magdalene. Congratulations! I'll drop the twenty-five dollar gift certificate right in your comment sold account. So you have twenty-five, and um, yes, I love hope smart hope toys. I hope that. Um, and then we have Natalie one more. Is working. I hope that that's working out. out for you, Natalie. Yeah. Okay. okay. And if it and doesn't, if you can't figure it out, then let us know. 
Um, and then, yeah, woohoo, yay. So now she's doing the second winner because why not, right? It's fun to give right. toys away. Or actually, you guys get to pick which ones, but all of these will count. We have some really, really cute holiday things up. Uh, we have a Hanukkah order that just shipped today, so we will have our chocolate geld as well as our little wooden dreidel, dreidels um, and some other things that I ordered for Hanukkah. And so we have toys arriving every day. Kathleen is finding the next winner. Go. Winner, I'm winner. Ready. Okay. And it is Kathy Dunn Kathy, woo, woo. So um, congratulations, Kathy. Thanks for tuning in, you guys. Um, we appreciate you so much. So we hope you have a great week. Make it a good one and take care.